Oh, we failed you if that's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what does everyone here think about the UFOs? Oh, they're Shout very out. real. Shazam. They what's confirmed your, it now. I saw clips from uh, yeah, there was a guy in six. They like, look, man, we ain't gonna lie to y'all no more. It's real. Mm -hmm. He was All in right. the UFO task force. I have a story here. Uh oh. Whenever the phone starts working, but, the internet. Yeah. Uh, you know <laughs> that's I what no, it is. You gotta get. You the know dial I have up. no internet on my phone. Yeah, use my um dial-up password. Let me see here if I can find this. Well, yeah, yeah, UFOs are real. While wow, Joe pulls that up, like, oh, yeah, yeah, they, they not even. We might, no we might more. be the UFO. So I here I, we go. I've had that mm. in my conspiracy theorist yeah. talk it's us. that we are the aliens. This it's is us. from CBS News. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this story. Okay. UFOs regularly spotted in restricted U.S. airspace. That's the report on the phenomena due next month. So what I heard. Is that one of the retired pilot dude, dudes? Well, actually, I'll just read it. We have tackled many strange stories on 60 Minutes, but perhaps none like this. The story of the U.S. government's grudging acknowledgement of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, more commonly known as UFOs. After decades of public denial, the Pentagon now admits there's something out there, and the U.S. Senate wants to know what it is. The intelligent, uh, pardon me. The Intelligence Committee has ordered the Director of National Intelligence and the Secretary of Defense to deliver a report on the mysterious sightings by next month. Yeah. Bill Whitaker, so what are you telling me is that UFOs uh, uh, are real? Blah, 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 blah. He said Bill would be on that point. Somebody that flies up there. Oh, it's on the screen. Screen man. You're the man. Somebody that flies up there and always flies up there, spent 20 years running military intelligence operations worldwide in Afghanistan, the Middle East, and Guantanamo. He hadn't given UFOs a second thought until 2008. That's when he was asked to join something at the Pentagon called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, or AATIP. Are we getting good now? The mission of AATIP was quite simple, to collect and analyze information involving uh, a UFOs. Yeah, anomalous. An anomalous, not UFOs. Well, no, keep reading. Anomalous aerial ve vehicles, what I guess in the vernacular you call them UFOs, we call them UAPs. You know how this sounds? It sounds nutty and whack, says Bill. Lou says, look, Bill, I'm not. I'm not telling you that, that it doesn't sound wacky. What I'm telling you is it's real. The question is, what is it? What are its intentions and what are its capabilities? Apparently, they saw something up there that was much faster than their aircraft, their rocket, their spaceship. It was moving in ways that they've never seen anything move they before. They said this shit made a, like an L turn or some yeah. shit. Like you can't thir Stop thirteen thousand miles an hour. Oh, they never seen me drive. I make an L turn all the time. Oh, y'all never know. <laughs> yeah, go, go, ahead, ahead. go ahead, go ahead, come on. Yeah, all right, forget it, man. Yeah, yeah we not. Yeah. All right, it made an L turn. It was doing all types of shit, and they're saying it's real. I mean, I believe that. I've always believed it. I don't know what the story is here, other than them confirming Shit's it. Shit's out there. Yeah, that's the story. And no, they want to find out what it does. Just like, no, they, they want I don't to find know. Out. What's their nationality? What's their ethnicity? <laughs> they want to find, find out what the UFO up. does. Are they black people? No, what they trying to find out is what the fuck is going on. Like, or what you here for? The white people want we to know ready for what, it. It, what it does. Assemble the Avengers. Fan. Boy, give me something. I, bro, I this shit is happening, said, dog. Like, this yeah, shit is for real. Fuck? Yo, do y'all ever just like do, do y'all ever just look up and think about life and all the serious moments in life that you've been a part of, and really just assess where we are today with stories like this, with the aliens, with the COVID shit, with the vaccine, with us being locked inside, with just all of the things that's happening today. Do y'all ever just realize it? Black president, fucking then Trump, reality star television, then then just all of it. What, what part? All of it. Yeah. Any of it. Like, cool. there's a lot that happens today where I'm like, thank God my grandma didn't see this. Thank uh, God my grandma don't know about this. Thank God my grandma's not alive for this. Because all of this is nuts. And I can't even believe that I'm alive for it. I have that thought even sometimes when I'm answering a FaceTime call. <laughs> all the shit we saw on the Jetsons as kids. Right. I'm answering a FaceTime yeah, call. I'm going to look, gonna, look at you and that's yeah. a normal. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, Damn, I walk in the house and talk to the, I just say, Turn this on, turn that on, boom, boom, and it happens. You're talking to Siri. You're <laughs> talking to Alexa. Just start talking. You know, I don't know, man. I, I pay attention to stuff like that. No, that's crazy. Well, I think it's 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 early. We we done stumbled upon some shit and, and tapped into it. Because if you look at the last hundred years, we turned so, up. We turned up real we turned quick. Up. 
Like it was slow, 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 slow. A hundred understatement. A hundred. No, 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 I'm just like saying. the last twenty. But shit's that's what, flying. But, but what I'm saying is, is you know they say the Roswell incident happened whatever it was sixties or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Technology mm-hmm. kind of took off right after that, and I mean at a at a rate, you know, you had automobiles, uh, <laughs> trains, TVs, you know, yeah, little shit. Next thing you know, boom, the microchip comes. Next thing you know, boom, it's this, it's this, it's this. Bro, you can send money across the world from your phone. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, the shit we doing now is ridiculous. I'd have never thought about it. Yeah, I agree. And, and, I, and I do think that came from somewhere. That you didn't just wake up yesterday and was like, all right, let's do this. No, you found <laughs> something reverse, reverse engineering. engineering. Absolutely, it's possible. Absolutely. I just wonder what the government's need to protect us from this information would be would it be civil unrest do they think that absolutely people in the country would go try to find 100%. ufos like what no, could we do that. what could you no, do dog, not even just that the hoarding the the armageddon's every, one of my favorites mine too what about it so he says we can't release the information and he was like why and he said basically it will be civil unrest that's uncontrollable basically the worst parts of the bible is what he said on Armageddon. Like, dog, niggas would be raping and pillaging and stealing and basically doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do. Because if you they, announced UFOs. No, just everything UFOs that came to, along with it. UFOs would have people to lead, will lead people to believe that the end is coming yeah. at some point. Then you start, Once qu- they you hear start that, questioning well, God. What type of entitled shit is that? Like, you're the only form of life here. What are you talking about? The end is coming because there's other forms of life? Yeah, but I don't yes. understand what you're saying. Yes. Do you know it maintains Man. water? Religion maintains yep. order, right? So who are you, you telling that to? Religion I'm, and fear. I'm just giving. I'm talking to the people, right? So if religion, I don't have to agree with that, right? You do not. All right. Religion maintains order. Fear right? maintains order. So if you are saying that you believe in the Quran, you believe in the Bible, you believe in the Torah, any one of these books, right? Mm-hmm. And the books never mentioned any other forms of life, right? So now. It's questionable everything that they say in these books. It may no longer hold value. It may no longer be true. So I'm going to do what I'm doing. And I'm going to go back to Darwinism and just tr- start trying to get mine in any possible way possible. No? Okay. I mean, I'm following. I'm just saying. I, I, it's a, I'm, I'm not saying it's accurate. I'm just saying. So now the government has a hard job to maintain some order and some sense of... of, of d- Control. I think the government has put a lot of entities here in attempt to gain control and order. Yeah, yeah religion sure. is one of them yeah. for mm-hmm. me. Absolutely. So again, just imagine if most people fear some higher power, right? Like you won't do fear certain, is another one. Like yeah, yeah. I said, like, fear, 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 I'm, fear I'm bigger religion. than you, higher yeah. or stronger fear than religion you. Go like, mm-hmm. not gonna just take your shit because some karmic presence is going to present itself later on down the line. Mm. I'm going to pay for what I've done. Work is another one for me. Control? Yeah, why does everybody go to work? And now you're just getting me really into my conspiracy yeah, brain. I mean... It's, it's, but, it's, but I love that question when I'm home. Alone. Why does everyone go to work? What's the, what's the alternative? This is the earth. It's our earth. It's a beautiful planet. Why can't we live and exist? I don't think that a higher power put us all here and said, hey, work and get money to survive or you'll die. I do believe in some of that Sebi shit, well, most of the Sebi shit about, hey, we adapt and we live, we survive, the earth is here, and you work your way through that. We're all working? Like, if I really get into work and what it means and what it does for the people who have and don't have, it's toxic as shit. Absolutely. The mere idea, the premise of everybody having to go and do something Mm -hmm. for the earth to survive is arrogant to me. (laughs) Like, who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? It's not y'all saving the earth. It's the earth saving y'all. I don't want to get into this right now because this is just my own personal thoughts about work. That's different. But yeah, for now, everybody has to go to work. You got to (laughs) survive. Shout out to the workers. Yeah. Me too. Right here. Shout out to the yeah. workers. Shut the fuck up. And not workers like we're offending, trying to offend people to go to work. We got to stop fucking making that narrative. Because I know not, okay. not we. It was yeah, you on like Twitter. Working. It was you on Twitter offending me. the workers. I, I wasn't. People were DMing me say, saying, yo, man, Parks is saying. And I ignored him. Then they came back and said, oh, I see what he was saying. Yeah. Yeah. So you, don't say we. Don't try to we this. No. You failed us. I work. You failed us. You failed. Both of y'all failed. Look, Parks don't want to fit. 
I'm just trying the to find out who's. I don't understand why the word employee you, or chilling. worker or soldier or anything has become an offensive term. Because everybody want to be a, a because a boss. because just, today things come with this negative connotation, like work, like yeah. a few other things that shall remain nameless. Everything everything is offensive today. Yeah. And that's part of why it's important to put the phone down. Like, it's important yeah. during Mental Health Month for me to say, Phil, fam, y'all don't get to paint me with the brush that y'all painting with. I ain't no nasty, perverted, ew. Shut up. I don't even know you niggas. Shut up. <laughs> that's important. It's important to uh, never lose sight of just what's real and what's, what's not. Yeah. Uh, I was getting somewhere with uh, this other point I was coming in with. Oh, all for this worker shit. The same way there's a fee if you are jailed, there's a fee. Every man that's jailed, that holds a price. The same way students go to school, every one of the students is worth something to the government. Is you making a face. Give it to me so I can watch this I'm, you. I'm just hearing where you're going. Give it to me so I can watch this you. I don't want you. any sauce. I'm just listening to you know that human. You know that humans, wherever we go, carry a worth. Yes. That's true. Sex, section 8. Taxes with your kids, how many kids you got, how many dependents claim them, blah, 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 blah. School, jail, wherever else there is, humans just carry worth. Mm -hmm. So if one, two, or three families take 95% of all the wealth and they get some of that wealth just from mere fact of somebody being born, my wild brain says, we should be paid for existing here. <laughs> we should be paid... Just for everybody, if you, get, if you get a social security number, you should be paid. Universal You are income. taking up that's space, a, that's just a, like real estate. You're a real estate guy. A, there's a political You're, theory behind that, universal income. You are, universal yeah, basic income. and I support that. You're a real estate guy. So, you know, you get a check no more paying. land can be created on earth. You taught me that. You taught me that. Right. Don't try to run away from what you taught me. You taught me that real estate is important because the earth is the earth, and whatever land exists is the only land you can have. I say the same thing exists with humans. If a land exists somewhere that's worth something, whether you own it or not, and it carries a value, then every person that occupies space here carries a value. We talking about what's the value of streaming? What's the value of living here? Mm -hmm. What is the value of existing here? All the different ways that you monetize my birth, my social security number, and this name that somebody gave me, now we pardon. <laughs> Now you don't want to talk. Who's don't worry about it. I failed no, you. No, 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 no. I failed you. I'm, I'm, I failed you. Don't worry about it. Let's move on. No, no, no. We can't. Let's move on. No, don't worry thoughts. about it. I'm cool. Who's, Watch this. Who's responsible? Watch this. You just said it carries a value. One, who does it carry a value to? And then two, who's responsible for paying the people for existence? It carries a value to the people that control 95% of the wealth in the world, not the country, but the world, right? Okay. And that should answer your second question, too. <laughs> so they should be responsible for paying people every time. Every time they're born. Tammy and John John lay down and have when a baby, they're born. they should get a check. You're, you're birthed into a currency cycle. I agree. Yes. At every birth, because hospitals make money from every birth. Mm-hmm. It goes up a food chain of who's paid from every birth mm -hmm. and death. Mm -hmm. a new and if a new consumer is born. And if yes, and if mm -hmm. one, two, or three families control all of it, then at every birth we should be getting paid like the unemployment line. We didn't ask to be here. Here we are. Pay us. That's my wild brain. I would never see a world. I won't be alive in a world but, where that But the happens. powers that be and the three families didn't ask you motherfuckers to be here either. I'm your, listen, your, I'm mother, your mother and father had casual sex or loving sex and bore a person into the world. Not true. I'm not, not, that's I'm, not true. I'm not done. Go ahead. And you're saying that it is now my responsibility in which to give you money for your sexual escapade. That's what you said. I did say that. I'm not saying that. But we gave you this nice, nice new consumer. I'm not saying that. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm with, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. I'm with Parks. My and mom and dad. No, 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 no. Let me talk. I hear my polyps kicking in. My mom and dad had casual sex, maybe on a drunken high night, when they maybe weren't in love, when they weren't mad. Who the fuck knows? But they did it under the idea of free will. Indeed. 
And that's a myth. Free will is a myth? Yeah, of course it's a myth. In this world, yes. Argue with me. Argue. Yes. Argue with me. Let me finish my point first. Free will is not a myth, but go ahead. Let me finish my point. They did it under the myth of free will. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as free will. Everything is controlled. There is a dictatorship on this on this world. Maybe not on Mars. You're talking about maybe a, not when we leave, but in a, here in a macro one, level, not a micro level. In both levels, in no. every level. Not what do you all. explain to me? <sighs> okay. You go don't do that. No. Just say you're fucked. Don't do that. Don't my, crack my, your neck. Yeah. Yeah. Don't crack yeah. your yeah. neck when you fuck it. That's your new watch this. That's your new watch this. Watch this. Get your shit off. Watch this. Free will, right? When you graduate high school, you have the option. That's which, where you started? Then you're wrong when you start. If you started at when I you would, graduate love, high school, then you're love, wrong at your love, start. I would love to speak. Have a blast. Right? So. I failed you. As a child, you're, 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 you're kind of, um, your moves are dictated by your parents. So that's why I started at high school. Because that's when you're quote unquote technically starting adulthood. You can't. You have the ability to go to college. You have the ability to get a job. You have ability to go join the Peace Corps in Africa. The illusion of free will. Okay. So now, um, what the choices that you make dictate your life, right? So again, the illusion of free will. That's not true. Well, that's where our point of contention okay, is. Okay. So I'm, I'm right. It's not so, the choices you make dictate your life. The choices I make for your life dictate your life. You just are under the illusion that you have some control of it, and that's not where we are in this world. You do have. That control. is not true. All right, tell me what control you have. I could go outside and blow my brains out right now if I wanted to. I'm listening. I have an option. That I have takes, a choice. I could. Is you not making sense? I could. No, I am. I could go. If you blow your brains out, you out the game. All right. So I'm I, saying I is, can now. I can now go get a job, or I could go get a pack and sell drugs on the street. They're gonna take my life in two drastically different paths. Both of those situations are controlled. You have. You don't have a choice. You don't have options in, in either one of those. Yes, I do. What options there, you think you got? A lot of them. They're controlled environments. Every environment has some level of control. You name. Unless you started you go into the Amazon. Every ish. level of, bro. Control. You started with school. I did. Which is controlled, and the alternative was the streets, which is controlled. No, I said you go get a job, which is controlled. Okay. Again, I have the option to do both. You have the option to blow your brains out and take yourself out the game. And I have the but option. But as long as you're not doing that, whatever you choose that you think is just your own thought, it ain't. You're bugging. You're, you're choosing being in a controlled environment with somebody picking my options for me. They're both the same. They're not the same. Tell me how. I can dictate if I want to go to college or not. Not if you're in a controlled environment. Yes, I can. No, that's what it's my responsibility to allow you to think that. If you're in a controlled environment, it's my responsibility to keep you under that illusion. So let me ask you this now. What the fuck are you working for every day then? What the fuck are you arguing with Rory and Maul for then? If it's all under one controlled environment and you don't have free will, what the fuck are we here for? What are you arguing with them for? You ready? Because your choices are being made by somebody else. You ready? Under your premise. You asked me a question. I, I'm ready for your answer. Meaningless paper. No, that's not true. Paper with dye on it. We're not even talking about money. Paper. You asked me a question, but, and you you asked me you asked me a question, and I'm answering it honestly. Mm -hmm. You said, "What do I believe I'm arguing with more uh, Maul and Rory about?" Mm -hmm. And through all the friendship and through all this respect shit, at the end of the day, what it boils down to is. We're arguing over the belief or disbelief in something that happened transactionally with a dollar. Mm -hmm. We are arguing over paper that somebody made up. And what's some and paper with a dead president for of a white man that I don't believe in, that I don't fuck with, who was a slave owner. Mm -hmm. This paper means nothing in in the in real life. But because this is real life, it means something to all of us. Mm -hmm. That's the controlled environment. I get it. I get it. And it's the myth of free will because we don't have the liberty to make our own decisions. If Parks made his own decisions without the implication of money, having it or not having it, uh, being desperate, not being desperate, your family being up, your family being down, his decisions would be 
different. Nobody in this room makes decisions without the implication of my need versus my want, having versus not having, being desperate versus being rich. And that's where some of this division comes in with the re- re- Republican uh, Democrat, with the black, with the white, with the capitalist versus socialist, with the left versus right, with the it's division everywhere. But all of that is a myth. None of you niggas, whatever side you choose that you think is right, is right. Because we control them both. Now, let me take it away. I'm going to take it to the most carnal level, right? Spit. Crack your yeah, neck, yeah. though. I'm a, Crack your neck. No, Hold on, man. I'm going to I'm gonna take it to the most carnal level. I don't even know how to do it. Let's, let's go back to caveman days. Right? right? Fuck politics. Fuck capitalism. Fuck Republicans. Fuck Democrats. Fuck color. Fuck ethnicity. We're going to go back to the real carnal a uh, 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 caveman days. Kill or be killed. I ain't see this doc, but go ahead. Yeah, it's my doc. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're making moves based on an ulterior motive that is not money related. You're making you're making moves based on survival, mm-hmm. right? So now my I have free will to go hunt or to go fish or to starve. I have free will to now take my family and move that way. You're fighting for your family and you're fighting for survival. I'm We're taking you. money out of this. I'm following you. So again, I have now the will to make decisions on my own or what is best for my family. But not, sir, not about a dollar. But, Stop. But that, that no, 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 no. Ish, you're better than this. I think you're just arguing to argue. I'm not, though. You don't believe what you're saying, right? I do. All right, so let's do this. Hold up, let me crack. <laughs> let me do whatever. I need some cool shit to crack my knuckles and some shit when I think I got a point. I mean, today we argue in money. Because that environment is not controlled. Let me just finish. Mm-hmm. Today, we're arguing money as the capital. That's why I took us back to a place where the environment and that's is where not I, controlled. And that's where I want to go. But still kind of the same all, there, and Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out. Capital in that era... I don't know what it was. It wasn't money. In the history that I see in the docs that I watch, at every different point in time, capital was different. Mm -hmm. When Johnson & Johnson found out about opioids and they went to fucking shave the opioid bushes or whatever, they came up with some new way. They were selling the dust. That was the capital. Mm -hmm. So they were able to monetize it and develop a business. And that other shit that that we watched that we came in here and championed, the white people had the weapons. They got the gunpowder from China. They had the weapons. The weapons, let me finish my point. Don't, I'm before of that. course you are. That's capitalism. But my premise is the same. Even back then, I wasn't there and I'm not educated enough because it's out of my range. But what was the capital in the caveman times? What was that thing that helped people to be able to survive and adapt? I, it wasn't money. Could have exactly. been animals. It could have been. Yeah, it might have been. It might have been, 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 been that. Territory. It could have been. It could have been. Yeah. Been, At a, a different point, the niggas that had gold. But there's, I'm not talking about the barter nothing. system. I'm not talking. I'm talking pre that. I'm talking pre that. I was born in 1980s. No. You was born in the 1600s. <laughs> I don't know what they did, what the cavemen I'm did. Just Maybe it was lava. Like, that's how, I don't Again, know. Look, hey, we take it back to Egyptian times. They was doing pyramids and putting shits, and we still ain't figured out how they did some of that shit, what the capital was. What were they working with? What were they working with in this time? With all our technology, with all our education, all of these fucking years, we still don't know what they was doing. Parks yeah. has the ability to go join a Peace Corps tomorrow. So he thinks. He does. The Peace Corps comes with rules and regulations. Okay. You don't think they fuck with me? (laughs) That'd be a little too You're a nice guy. No, I think that every group that exists, exists from somewhere. If you want to tell me about the, the, the sororities... The fraternities, all of that. If yeah, you want to tell me about one. Freemasons, mm-hmm. if you want to tell me about the CIA, mm-hmm. the FBI, mm-hmm. if you want to tell me about the fucking uh, the Jew, and anybody you name mm-hmm. exists from somewhere and some point in history. And I have a blast in my brain sitting home figuring out, hey, what the niggas were doing back then, mm-hmm. like what they was on. And back to my original point, because I, I, I'm maybe I'm not educated enough to even argue this with you, ish. I just don't really believe in free will the older I get. And that, those are the conversations I'm having with my kid. It's not so much the free will. It's, yo, hey, kiddo, man, I love you. And don't listen to me because I'm going to keep telling you when you learn the scam and everything that exists, you're going to sound like me. 
You gonna sound like the old bitter, I believe, jaded. I, no, I agree with guy. That. Hey, There's I'm watching. A- I watch my dad, who's raising two younger brothers of mine without my influence in a whole different house, and he got to catch himself. Hey, man, I got to watch how I talk to the TV. I got to watch how I scream at some of the all white teams that I hate, like Duke, because my kids are picking it up from me by mistake. I don't even remember why I'm bringing that up right now. What was we talking about? Free will. Free will. Free will. In the UFOs before that. We're talking about free will. We just are our teachings. I and the second that we learn, well, we're born, and then all we do here is learn. The second that we learn that everything that we've learned is wrong, we realize, oh, free will is a myth. We're going to be here. We're going to try to leave this worthless paper, dyed paper to our kids. Hey, and our kids might be knuckleheads enough to blow it or do something with it, but we won't be here to see it regardless. Free will and what? At one point, you're going to learn everything you worked for in life could be jeopardized in a moment's instance. Still doesn't still doesn't negate the worth or the value. Like when you start Who is determining the worth and the value of things? Back society, to the illusion of free society. Then, then free will is an illusion. That's then free true. will is an illusion. But you're, but and you better get with value. some and you better get with some internal happiness. You're staking value. And what will. makes you feel good during your fucking time here. Because mm-hmm. anything other than that, as you age, you learn it's a fucking myth. No, because you're 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 staking happiness or value on a system given to you by society. That's what makes Parks wait, happy. Wait, I am. Wait, no, 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 I am. Done. Let me get my sentence out. What makes Park ha- Parks happy may not have any monetary value at all. It may not have any monetary value at all. Parks could enjoy riding his bike every fucking day. Then that's monetary but, value. But he had to buy the bike. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where the fuck Say is he walking. getting a bike? Say walking. Parks can enjoy walking. Walking now where? Y'all dumb. Wa- Outside. No. He, he can walk go in barefoot. Jump. Outside where? I could. Hey, you Yo, walking dogs. along the San Francisco Bridge is different from you walking up the steps in the Bronx that the Joker movie was filmed on. Them white people can act like it's fun and games over there all you want, but niggas ain't just walking down there. That boy, hey, to walk on. Let me finish. Let me, no, no, I'm not. I'm he saying that it's jogging. monetary. He let can me finish. Enjoy jogging. That's his. That's his solace. He could go lift weights at the gym. That's his happy space. And wherever they place you in the world that you don't control mm-hmm. is gonna weigh on how much you enjoy that jog. Hey, every morning I wake up, I look at the fucking boardwalk out there. You know what's going on out there because you be out there. They walking, they, they running, they walking, they having a blast mm-hmm. out there. That's enjoyable. Mm-hmm. That make a nigga that don't even enjoy walk say. Yo, I'm getting out there. Nice, nice yeah. That looks piece. great. Yeah. I'm up here smoking a cig. Mm-hmm. Why don't I run a little bit? Mm-hmm. I bought a bike. Okay. You taught me what a Peloton was. That's a beautiful walk. Okay. And everywhere on earth is not a beautiful walk. You can enjoy walking. It has nothing to do with free will and the decision to go take a walk if you want. See, all right. I, I see where we at. I see where we at. I understand what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I, just, like, I, I, I see what you're saying. I just disagree a little bit. I see what you're saying. I like making music. I believe there's a place Ooh, that I, you, you took. I love right it. I'm mouth. here. Yeah, I'm you're with a you. Poet. I'm with you. You're a poet. What? Fuck your. Well, let me career. say this before you're you make poet. your point. You liked writing. I believe that there is direct relation between love and hate, and anything you love at some point in life, if you're blessed enough to live long enough, you can hate it. I agree. I agree with that. So now let's go rap. I want to do it. No, fuck rap. See, rap is a job. Music. No, f- poetry. Poetry. Rappers are poets, and you put it to a beat. Parks is a, you make beats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Parks is a musician; he makes mm-hmm. beats, right? Mm-hmm. So that's oh. a whole different craft, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Mm-hmm. Some people do both, mm-hmm. but the act of writing words that rhyme and expressing your feelings on paper could bring you joy. That's enjoyable to you, even if you didn't get a monetary penny from it. It's people that when they die could potentially have dictionaries full of fucking poems that they wrote because they got some mental release or some spiritual or emotional release from it. That wasn't a a value staked on that. They did that because that was their happy place. Or they were allowed to think that. Okay. Because if that because if that same person I don't get what well, I, don't, I don't get what he said. Well, let's do it. 
the feeling that I got when I wrote this dope or when I painted this dope ass picture and wasn't allowed it nowhere by else. somebody that's, else that's to my, give yeah, me. Yeah, sure it was. Because whatever the setting was, whatever the environment was, whatever the predicament was that allowed for me to love this, I'm grateful for and I love. I could also paint a setting. And while we're alive, you have to put yourself in a setting somewhere if you're alive. I could also paint a setting where you could do what you truly love. And because of what surrounds you, you aren't happy, even though that's the only thing that brings you happiness. That's why I said that, Ice. This is the gentleman that the one is just talking about is the guy that was was able to pay his bills. Fortunately, it's right. the guy that right. he has time. It's the guy that time. handled his whatever uh, life threatening disease he had. Had the health care. He had knew the people. People loved him. People who knows. But for every guy he paints, I could change the setting around him, and he will hate what he loves. I'm saying no, that I as somebody I that has at one point hated something that kept me alive for so long, which is music. Me if you too. change the setting and you change the scenario, I could hate it. The girl I fell in love with, if you change the scenario, change the argument, I could hate it. My two fucking road dogs that I do a job with, if you change the scenario, you change the setting, I could hate it. That's not me controlling that. That's gratitude at all times because the almighty powers that be decided that the setting was great enough for me to enjoy what I do. But at, at the blink of an eye, fuck, and it's no such thing as free will. At the blink of an eye, you can get a call that said death occurred. What you love, you don't love anymore. That can happen. You don't have any control. Yo. You still love what you love. But just that fast, the setting changed how you receive your only love. I disagree. I know. And that's why we're friends. Again, because, that's why we're friends. Because, again, we I, can have these I long, went, exacerbated I to, fights. I, went, I, don't I don't agree with that either. Yeah, I went to painting, and Fuck you took you know. it to the scenery. Shut up. Right? <laughs> I, I went to painting, and you took it to scenery and setting. The act that's of where painting monetary, is something that somebody enjoys. There's no such thing as a free act. That's the point I'm saying. There is no such thing as a free act. I disagree. And that's because you believe in the illusion of free will. So what you, you mean, think there's no free act, though? There is no free act. Every act comes with a... And you about to get me in a radical conspiracy zone. Every act comes with a cost. Every act in this world, when you play a card in spades, you play a card, there will be a reaction. Something, Indeed. the universe will do something. Indeed. There is a cost and a carry to everything that happens. You better be aware of oh, it. Oh, yes, yes. That's what, f physics? Then like, what do you want me to say? Action, there's an equal and opposite reaction huh? every time. I, I might not even have the range to argue some of my thoughts. I'm just telling you my thoughts. I agree with that, though. For every, every action, there's something with it. Sorry, you, you guys. Correct. I didn't mean to carry that so long. Maybe I failed you. I didn't want to come in here and talk about conspiracy theories and free will and the illusion of this and that. You ain't tell one joke I'm sorry. on the podcast. Ain't shit funny. <laughs> ain't nothing funny. God damn it. What the fuck you want me to jump in? Hold up, man. Playing with these niggas. Man, Playing with these niggas. We here today, man. My polyps is acting up. Yo, what? Look, the is a polyp? bring the beat in. I thought it was like a vegetable or something. What the fuck is a polyp? a polyp? What is polyps? What is a polyp? Oh my god! I can't ask you a question. A polyp uh -huh. is a little bump that appears on your vocal cords that affect your ability to speak. Oh. It, it it affects how high you can go in octave, how low you can go, depending on where it is. I would have gotten surgery, but they told me my voice might not ever be the same, and I was a rapper at the time. That scared me. So I do have polyps. So when my voice is over exercised. You could just hear it. Ah, you can hear it. Oh. Uh, that's why you used to have to, when you used to do the back to back shows, you used to have to kind of. Yeah. Up. Okay. I had to chill out. Yeah, yeah. I, remember I had that. to shut up or I had to get uh, get uh, to some guys to be a hype tape. man. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. needed multiple hype men so they mm -hmm. could say the words with me. I would sing along with the record. My voice, I could I wasn't built to do two shows on mm -hmm. back to back night. And then your shows be. <laughs> that was tough for a tour. This thing is rapping. My shows are two minutes, and three bro. hours. You got to pile up on your vocal cords. It's not, it's not right. Again, free will. You love rapping. You think you can rap. Now what? Now what? There's something on your throat. You can't do nothing. You run around on stage. You can't even talk, nigga. Now what do you love? You still love it, but you can't do it. You still love it, but you can't do it. You love it. The act. The adri See, you look. Have, you have don't worry choice. about it. You Forget have the choice. Forget you it. have the choice of either Ish, trying my mom to told out a way to keep you, doing you, it or mom, give it up. You get what you get in life. Indeed. You, you have no say about it. You get what you get in life. And you make the best of it. Free will is a myth. And the choices that you make 
You can't tell me what you're going to get tomorrow. Neither can he, neither can he, neither can he. You can plan your best to get to it, and guess what? It ain't going to come. Free will's a myth. What are you telling me? Whoa, whoa. I'm going to crack your muffin real quick. Crack your neck then. Do your, do your <laughs> shit. Do your, yeah, do your Yo, shit. Bring the beat in. You, 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 I forgot the quote, so I'm, I'm going to fuck it up. But 90% of life is what happens. I'm 10% of life is what happens. 90% of is how you respond to it. Those responses are conscious and deliberate decisions made by you. You responding to life is your free will. Or what it throws at you is your free will. When it throws you lemons, you make lemonade, nigga. You that's that's you the free that will to make that lemonade. Oh man, you fucking with a nigga that was suicidal before. Yeah, Let me crack and if my you, neck. And Let if you would have did that, that was your free will to you, exercise. You ready? And now you have this beautiful podcast. So we're glad that you didn't Beautiful through your eyes. Beautiful, Indeed. beautiful through my eyes. Okay. Let me ping pong it back for a second. What if, and I don't know this. There's no way to prove this. How would we know we're all still here? But what if our sole purpose and duty on earth was something that only happened until death? What? You mean like sole purpose on earth was something that only happened until death? Why are you here? I don't know. That's the question of why are you here? Like we don't. I don't know. But even if you had an answer, it would be your brain and all that makes you and all that creates you telling me what your fucking insignificant brain thinks you're here for. Correct. Right? Correct. But what if the almighty powers that be, and I'm going to try to leave this because I don't want to lose anybody here. This is a lot. What if the almighty powers that be said your sole purpose here is to resoil the soil? What if your only job, your most important one job here was to live and Go die. be nothing because you're nothing and die and contribute back to the earth. The beautiful earth that all we do is fucking rotten and disease and soil. Mm-hmm. I can't say that. Nobody else can either. But I won't dismiss it because I'm alive. I don't know what our purpose here is. Correct. Okay. But it certainly ain't to run around and chase dyed paper. That ain't it. No, I agree. If you want no, me to believe that our higher power put us here to go to work, nine to no. five, Monday through Friday, to fucking feed our families, pass something down, I don't. The paper is that a That makes medium. me a radical. No, 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 I'll no, take no, 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 no. The paper is a medium in which you might need to fulfill your higher purpose. So if your higher purpose was to help the sick, Right. And on your journey, you made money, which now allowed you to open up a nonprofit, which could be the biggest nonprofit in the world. And you are now helping people. Helping people is your purpose. The money is just the medium that got you to your purpose. But how do you know that's your purpose? We don't. I'm just giving an example. Right. The mo- but even in your, your example, purpose. your purpose is resoiling. We resoiling. OK. Hey, but you said the, if my the, job is that ha- dyed paper, the paper is just a vehicle that takes you to your purpose. But. Forget about that. I'm staying with where you just said, and then I'm leaving this. Y'all can talk about what you want. If my job is to relay, relay information, mm-hmm. and that's and that's the job, the one job. I don't know Imani from a can of paint, mm-hmm. but my 40 years on earth, the sole purpose was for him to get one thing I said and me die and him carry it on. Mm-hmm. Then who the fuck am I to say if that's right or wrong? That's back to resoiling it's still. Not a, it's not a right or Your wrong Your whole issue. existence was for one stranger to pick something up and apply it? Could be. It could be. Then you're nothing and free will is a myth. Like I'm saying. How does that apply to free will? Because no matter what you do, if that's your purpose, that's what's going to happen. That's what he's getting. I, I don't believe in fate anyway, but I'm just saying. I'm, bring the beat in. Hold up. Bring the beat in. Hold up. Bring the beat yeah, in. Yeah, we, we, yeah. We dampered the mood. Light the sage. Bring I the beat ain't dampered them. I'm telling you how I feel. It's just the only person I can argue with this shit about. Bring the beat in. Niggas want to question these aliens now, boy. Hold up. Niggas want to find these aliens. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> what you want? All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, we done talking about weirdo shit? Yeah, we done. UFOs. We done. They here. So Spaceships, this, free will. St- look up. Pay attention. What, it's, what it's my happening. man said on uh, Boys in the Hood? What? Quasars. Any movie from, from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> 